Hi, my name is Maya Marshall. Um, thank you to the Guild Complex for inviting me to celebrate Miss Brooks today. Uh, I will be reading the first section of Children of the Poor, found in The Womanhood in Blacks. Children of the Poor. One. People who have no children can be hard. Attain a male of ice and insolence. Need not pause in the fire and in no sense hesitate in the hurricane to guard. And when wide world is bitten and be warred, they perish purely, waving their sparents hence without a trace of grace or of offense to laugh or fail, diffident, wonder-starred. While through a throttling dark, we others hear the little lifting helplessness, the queer whimper whine whose unridiculous lost softness softly makes a trap for us and makes a curse and makes a sugar of the malocutions, the inconditions of love. Two. What shall I give my children who are poor, who are a judge the least wise of the land, who are my sweetest lepers, who demand no velvet and no velvety velour, but who have begged me for a brisk contour, crying that they are quasi contraband because unfinished, graven by a hand less than angelic, admirable, or sure. My hand is stuffed with mode, design, device, but I lack access to my proper stone. And plentitude of plan shall not suffice, nor grief nor love shall be enough alone to ratify my little halves who bear across an autumn freezing everywhere. Three. And shall I prime my children, pray to pray? Mites come invade most frugal vestibules, spectered with crusts of penitence, renewals, and all hysterics arrogant for a day. Instruct yourselves, here is no devil to pay. Children, confine your lights in jellied rules. Resemble graves. Be metaphysical mules. Learn Lord will not distort or leave the fray. Behind the scurryings of your neat motif, I shall wait, if you wish. Revise the psalm, if that should frighten you. Sew up belief, if that should tear. Turn singularly calm, at forehead and at fingers, rather wise holding the bandage ready for your eyes. Four. First fight, then fiddle. Ply the slipping string with feathery sorcery. Muzzle the note with hurting love. The music that they wrote bewitch, bewilder. Qualify to sing threadwise. Devise no salt, no hempen thing for the dear instrument to bear. Devote the bow to silks and honey. Be remote a while from malice and from murdering. But first to arms, to armor. Carry hate in front of you and harmony behind. Be deaf to music and to beauty blind. Win war, rise bloody, Maybe not too late for having first to civilize a space wherein to play your violin with grace. Five. When my dears die, the festival colored brightness that is their motion and mild repartee enchanted a macabre mockery, charming the rainbow radiance into tightness and into a remarkable politeness 
but is not kind and does not want to be. May not they in the crisp encounter see something to recognize and read as rightness? I say they may, so granitely discreet, the little crooked questionings inbound concede themselves on most familiar ground, cold, an old predicament of the breath. Adroit, the shapely prefaces complete, except the university of death.